<laughs> Rabbi Mandel, women of valor, family and friends. All right, I was told two minutes. For anyone that knows me, this was very challenging. Wow, that was quite a humbling video about me. I was asked if I wanted this honor. I quietly thought it over for all of a second and quickly said, oh my goodness, are you sure you really want to honor me? I'm just this little quiet member of Aish who really doesn't know anyone and really no one knows me. But to have an honor like this amongst my own community brought me to tears. After all, when I think of great Jewish women, I think of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel and Leah, our matriarchs, followed by my mother, Elaine, my mother-in-law, Cynthia, my sister, Heather, my best friend, Serena, and my up-and-coming woman of valor, my daughter, Naomi Batya. And now me, a status I never really took upon till, till now. Crafting for a Cure was started out as a mum on a mission working with one hospital, trying to keep my sanity during stressful times, has become my strength. Now, over 40 hospitals in Canada alone, how can one mom do this? I can tell you simple, with an absolutely amazing support system, a loving husband, beautiful children, and parents who have mentored me in the art of tzedakah, and a very strong spiritual belief for Judaism, along with a love for Aisha Torah. However, tonight's honor is more than crafting for a cure. It is about being a Jewish female role model. So what does that mean? Ask my children as they embark in their bar and bat mitzvah world. It means I make them study every day. It makes, means making them understand that one should be proud to be a Jew and never take being Jewish for granted. After all, it was my faith in Hashem and the numerous prayers of Tehillim that floated around from many people in this room that gave my son the strength that he has today. It is my unconditional strength and belief in Hashem that knows that making children smile was my calling. As you know, I started off making these simple little craft kits to entertain children. Well, unfortunately, these little simple craft kits are the number one, or fortunately, craft kits in emergency rooms in Canada, in the US, and when we've given to Israel, and to Russia, and beyond. I personally... I personally myself have made over thousands of these. I have left smiles on families that I don't even know. I have touched the hearts of children in BC to Newfoundland. But more importantly, my craft kits are not only the generic, they are Jewish related as well. And for how I know, I can tell you that there are Jews in Saskatoon and in Nova Scotia, as I'm requested their Passover kits annually along with their Hanukkah kits. Now in your gift bags, I understand I have left you all craft kits to hold and to look at, but I am hoping at the end of the evening you will just do that. Hold it and look at it. I'm asking you to donate it back in the bin on the way out the door so that a child may enjoy it. In exchange, I'm giving you my donation. Now those are the Crafting for a Cure gift cards. In exchange, these were created by kids for you. Blank on the inside for you to put your words of love to that special someone. We know as parents that we are doing right when as my kids enter the world of bar and bat mitzvah, that each of the children set out to place their own mark with charity. Obviously, they are both much involved with mine, but I am proud that they have taken on Jewish causes of their own, from fundraising to a Torah, to helping feed families on Shabbat, to stocking a synagogue's library, and to continuing the Jewish continuity at Asha Torah. I've explained to my children that it may take time to achieve your goals, but don't give up. As I've said, after all, global domination to make all children smile. I have had the pleasure of sitting and meeting these other Aisha's Chayals that are being honored tonight. They are all truly remarkable women. I'm in awe, as I've said to each and every one of them, of them all. However, as everyone knows, it is the ones that aren't mentioned here tonight that are truly worth mentioning. It is our mothers, it is our sisters, it is our girlfriends, it is our daughters. It is all these women with the term great Jewish women are a part of. I look forward to helping Aish and working with them in their empowering greatness from women. 
I also look forward to having my charity grow. That's right, go ahead, write it down, www.craftingforacure.ca, another charity that needs your support. And just like that, like Aish, I do take all sorts of payments. <laughs> but just like Aish, support does not come easy. So on that note, I say thank you for honoring me, for believing in me, for believing in crafting for a cure. Thank you for honoring me as a great Jewish woman, as my husband would say, a true Aisha's Chayel. Thank you, enjoy the evening.